I am frequently asked what my advice is for beginning kayakers. These are the top five golden rules for whitewater kayaking. Alright, number one, good posture is essential for whitewater kayaking. You'll notice a lot of kayakers end up a little bit hunched forward, and one of the reasons for that is that our backs, when paddling properly, tend to become more strong than our chest, and our chest tends to get pretty tight. You can balance this with exercise, but also learning to hinge forward at your hips can create a healthy, balanced posture while you're kayaking. Leaning back lifts the bow and takes away a lot of the control you have over your kayak. Good posture maximizes your hip mobility and increases the control over your kayak. The second rule is the paddler's box. The paddler's box refers to the paddle and the chest lined up with the arms. The thing is, if you move the paddle away to the side without rotating your body, what it does is it breaks up the shape of that box. Doesn't look like a nice neat box anymore. So the goal is to maintain that box so if your paddle needs to go to the side, you can rotate your entire torso with it. The goal of the safety box is not only to protect your shoulders, but it also maintains a power position where the paddle is in front of your chest. You get the most out of every stroke and every move that you make. The third big rule that I wanna talk about is the separation of upper and lower body movements. You have to be able to rotate your torso independently of moving your legs. And so the easiest way to learn that separation of upper and lower body movements is sitting in your kayak and start by twisting from side to side with your torso. Then stop, move your kayak from side to side with your hips. Try to make a splash. Now try to do both at the same time. That requires a separation of upper and lower body movements because they're moving independently but cooperatively. And how you need to move them will change depending on what you're doing in kayaking. The same separation applies to torso rotation where you can twist your upper body independently of your lower body, winding and unwinding your body. Number four, where the head leads, the body will follow. Anytime you see an obstacle on the river that you're trying to avoid, if you look at it, chances are you'll find it. Looking where you wanna go seems like a basic skill, but the truth is looking first, then your shoulders move, then your body follows is a natural part of whitewater kayaking. Freestyle moves are all about leading with your head and your body following, but also looking where you wanna go and driving there is essential to even the most advanced river running. The last golden rule is pretty simple especially if you play games like pool. Paddling is all about arcs and vectors. The river, water in general, moves in arcs and so should you. Anytime you're going in and out of an eddy, anytime you're approaching a boo for another move in kayaking, charging arc is vital. Paddling in an arc, even for stern squirts, is essential. A good charging arc is all about timing your speed, angle, and lean. Lean is about edge control. magnitude and direction in general makes something a vector. Think about while you're paddling downstream, you have a momentum in one specific direction, but if water comes in from another direction, you either have to match the power of that water with your stroke to go in a straight line, or choose to turn with it and follow it where it's going. Everything you do in kayaking will essentially come down to matching vectors and building up a net force or a net direction where you wanna go. So there you have it. Maintaining good posture, maintaining the safety box, separation of upper and lower body movements, looking where you wanna go, and lastly, paying attention to arcs and vectors. Those are the top five golden rules for whitewater kayaking.
If you guys are interested in future opportunities to paddle with me or to get personal instruction, make sure you check in regularly. I have different signature weeks on the way and information on those will be coming out shortly. So make sure you're keeping an eye out. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you on the river.